The phrase crocodile tears derives from the ancient beliefs that crocodiles would shed tears when consuming their prey. Therefore, this is considered fake or insincere tears. However, physiologically, there may be an explanation for this. The facial nerve innervates both the salivary gland and the lacrimal gland. Therefore, when crocodiles eat, they may also cry simultaneously. So, if humans also have a facial nerve, why don't we produce crocodile tears? Well, the parasympathetic portion of the facial nerve exits the superior salivatory nucleus in the brainstem and then enters the skull in the internal acoustic matus. Here it goes through a bony canal where the nerve then separates into two parts. One part is the greater petrosal nerve which innervates the lacrimal gland producing tears. The other portion of the nerve, called the chordate tamponade, goes down to the sublingual and the submandibular gland, causing salivation. Therefore, no crocodile tears. But in Bell's palsy, where a virus infects the facial nerve, it causes the facial nerve, usually in that bony canal, to swell, therefore squash itself in the skull, leading to paralysis. Not only does the parasympathetic portion of the facial nerve become affected, but also the portion that supplies the mu muscles of facial expression. So you'll have droopiness of the face and also an effect to these glands. Now, when the nerve regrows, the portion of the nerve that usually goes up to the lacrimal gland instead goes down to the salivary glands. And the portion that normally would innervate the salivary glands goes to the lacrimal gland. Therefore, when these organs are re innervated and the person wants to eat food and produces saliva, they instead produce tears, leading to a condition known as crocodile tear syndrome or gustatory hyperlacrimation.